こんばんは、ゆき。こんばんは。今何してるんですか。お散歩です。お散歩です。お、どこへ向かってるんですか。なんだっけ、知らないの。本屋さんでしょ。I never remember the name. Barnes and Noble に行きます。行きますね。じゃあ、そして歩きながら日本語も教えますね。はい、じゃあ今日は何について話すの。So, yep, today's video's main points are we're going to be talking about the month of the year, the days of the month, and how to ask when something is. Like, when is your birthday? When, when is, birthday? is the meeting? When is the meeting? What month are you, born in? are you born in? All that kind of stuff. So, let's go! All right, so while we're walking to Barnes and Noble, we're going to be talking about this stuff. Let's first introduce all the months of the year. So, how would I say the first month of the year, which is January? Ichi Gatsu. If I just know the numbers in Japanese, it's easy enough to say the months. Gatsu <laughs> means month, and you just put it after the number to say which month of the year it is. Japanese is so easy. Easy. Today we are talking about、uh, the month of the year.、Uh, January is Ichigatsu, February is Niigatsu, March is Sangatsu, April is Shigatsu, May is Gogatsu, June is Rokugatsu, July is Shichigatsu. August is Hachigatsu, September is Kugatsu, October is Jugatsu, November is Juichigatsu, December is Junigatsu, and for April and September, it's always、um, Shigatsu and、um, Kugatsu, not、um, Yongatsu or Kyugatsu. And when you're asking someone what month it is, you say, Nangatsu. All right, so in English, we often ask people what month or what day something is happening, and they have that in Japanese too. Luckily, you already know the word for what when we combine it to a noun. It's none. So I just have to take none, add it to the word for month or day, and you got it. So, since we are asking a question, we are going to be ending our sentence with ka. Ka is always added to the end of a question. Des is here because des means is. In the place of the noun slot here at the beginning, we can replace it with words like tanjobi, which is birthday, or kaigi, which is meeting. So, if I want to say what month is someone's birthday or what day is someone's birthday, I would use Nangatsu for what month and Nanichi for what day. Alright, Yuki, so how would I ask what month is your birthday? How about what day is your birthday? Perfect. <laughs> San, konnichiwa. Great to hear. So, today in this video, we're going to be talking about the first 10 days of the month. You can't! No! Sweet Dachi. Futsuka. Mika. Yoka. Itsuka. Moika. Nanoka. Yoka. Okonoka. Toka. Sweet Dachi. Okay, 
Hey guys, it's now time to practice everything that we've studied up until now. We're going to take the month of the year and add it to what we learned about how to ask when and what month and what day, and also add that to the first 10 days of the week, which we learned just barely. All right, so today's grammar goes like this. First, you have a noun. You mark it with wa because it's a subject. Then you're going to say something like when, which is itsu, or what day, which is nanichi, or nangatsu, which is one month, then add des ka on the end to ask when is noun, or what day is noun, or what month is noun. So let's go ahead and look at the first example. Here we have a conversation between Erin and Satoshi. Erin asks, Tanjoubi wa nangatsu desu ka? If you guys remember from before, Tanjoubi means birthday. Now you might have noticed that Erin is not saying, Anata no Tanjoubi wa nangatsu desu ka? If there was many people in the room and she was asking several different people what their birthday was and she finally got to Satoshi and said, what is your birthday? Then she would say, Anata no tanjoubi wa nan desu ka? However, if there is only Satoshi and Aaron in this conversation, then she doesn't need to include the Anata no part. That's already implied. So she asks, when is birthday? Or when is your birthday? And Satoshi responds by saying, Shigatsu desu. Now, did you guys notice that he left out the subject here too? The subject of this sentence would be, Watashi no tanjoubi wa shigatsu desu. All this, which means my birthday, is implied. And like we just said, if it's already obvious, whose birthday they're talking about, then Japanese people like to just leave that information out. It's redundant. So I'm going to leave it in parentheses just so you know that it's implied to be there. However, often in Japanese you won't hear people actually say it. So, once again, that was Tanjoubi wa nangatsu desu ka? Shigatsu desu. What month is your birthday? July. Next. Erin now asks, Tanjoubi wa nanichi desu ka? Now, this time Tanjoubi is in parentheses, meaning it's optional, because this is just a continuation of the conversation before. Really, she just wants to know, Nanichi desu ka? Which is, what day? What day is it? Sat Toshi then responds by saying, Yoka desu. Did you notice how this yo was long? Yoka desu. If he said yoka, that would be a different word. Or if he said yoka, that would mean the fourth. However, he said, Yoka desu. Yoka means the eighth. So we learned that his birthday is. July 7th. So, now we can take all of that information and put it into one single sentence. So, this time Aaron's going to ask not what month or what day, but when. And the word for when is itsu. Itsu. She says, Tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? When is your birthday? Satoshi responds by saying, Shigatsu no yoka desu. Shigatsu is July. Yoka means the 8th. So literally, July's 8th is. However, if you put that in more natural English, it would just be, it's the 8th of July. The 8th of July. So, the Japanese particle no 
also has the same meaning of of. However, as you notice, in English, eighth comes first, when in Japanese, the month comes first. So if I wanted to say the second of February, I would say Nigatsu no Futsuka. Nigatsu meaning February, no meaning of, and Futsuka meaning the second. Well, that concludes all the content for today's lesson. I hope that this was helpful. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or ask your teacher directly. Don't forget the worksheet that goes with this lesson. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day and or evening. じゃあ、また今度お会いしましょう。